napkin here on the head. We have this at a price tag of $109. If you own it, give us a call on our testimonial line. But Christina is the wig expert. Okay, so, and you don't have to be an expert to get this you done. Don't. I'm going to show you quick and easy ways to okay. get your look polished up with a wig. Okay, so what's a wig? What's the hairdo wig? It's a stretch lace construction. Why is that important? It's not your grandmother's grandmother's wig. These are comfortable, they're elastic, they're snug fit to your head, but it won't squeeze. Lots of air will pass through. Okay, so what you have at the base over here is an additional custom fit. This hook and loop tab will open and close to make it either a little larger or a little smaller. I'll tell you this though, you probably will never end up using that because this fits all heads, shapes, and sizes, okay? Mm -hmm. At the temple area, so that's just a, just uh, along each side, what you have is these uh, flexible ear tabs, okay? They're gonna be flexible like this, and I'll show you why that's important. Let's jump right into how you get this on, okay? Mm -hmm. If you've, you know, if you've ever watched a Broadway actress get ready back in the day, they would put, do all these little pink curl clips. They don't do that anymore. The name yeah. of the game is getting your hair out of the way, flat to your head. You don't have to do an elaborate wrap. If you like to do an elaborate wrap, go for it, okay? Here's how I do it. Large bobby pin on one side. Get the hair off the face. Large bobby pin on the other side. And you won't have ear pieces to deal with, too. Yeah, you know. So but you can let that drop out yeah, for right now. Yeah, here we go. We don't have to hear anybody. We're just going to have some fun <laughs> together over here. Okay. So what you want to do is divide the hair down the back if it's long like mine, right? And an easy way to get it out of the way so the hair doesn't come falling out of the wig is to crisscross. Take one side, Brilliant. come right back over here. Use an, I use large bobby pins. You can use small ones. Figure it out. Play with it. Once you get your wrap down, you'll be able to do it in two seconds. Mm -hmm. And you can depend on that early in the morning when you don't feel like washing or blow drying your hair. Securing the other side around in this very same way. I've got these little weird pieces that are sticking up. Guess what? Doesn't matter. I love that. <laughs> right? I mean, it doesn't matter because nobody's going to see them. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You want to use your forehead to hold the front of the wig. You don't need four people to do this, just yourself. And you'll know where it's the back because there's a tag in the back. Exactly, just like, in your just like this. I'm going to use the front, hold it down with my uh, forehead, and I'm going to give it a big, big, big stretch all the way to the bottom. Did you see how elastic yeah. that was? It's super comfortable. Uh -huh. Next step, okay, you want to get your ears out. Believe it or not, people ask me, do I tuck them in or pull them out? Yeah. Pull them out. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you want to find those ear tabs I mentioned, right? And that's going to help you find the center of the wig. Sometimes people put it on like this and like it doesn't look great. It's not <laughs> centered. So you want to go straight to the center, push those ear tabs straight to the temple area. Last thing you want to do is make sure that the line of the wig is aligned with your hairline. So see, I've got to pull this up a little bit or it's not going to feel natural on me. Now, you want to give it a good shake. Did you see how secure that is? Yeah. Give it a good shake. Oh and my these, gosh. You they fall you right like? into place. You look like Joan Collins right now. I all, all that movement, gosh, all that body. How many times, <laughs> how many times have we- And I'm we better, so I know. <laughs> I love in you, person. Mary Beth Rowe. I really Mary Beth Rowe is just, I mean, you're an absolute <laughs> well, delight. Look at that. So, but here's the wow. thing. Wow. If you can, st I can style my hair if I had this haircut. Right. Curling iron and what else, whatever else. Mm -hmm. And in about an hour, what happens? It falls flat. This right. will not fall flat. It will stay bouncy. It will have a lot of wow. life, movement, all these layers, gorgeous, seven to 11 different shades in every piece. Wow. We're going to show, before I put mine on, we're going to show the shades because I know you're kind of like, Ooh, that was so cool. I got to start ordering. So let's go through the shades. Okay. Well, let's start over here with the blondes. We have light golden blonde and Mary Beth Rowe. I think you're going to get into this okay. shade later. Medium golden blonde. You'll see that there are similar shades between them. The light golden blonde is going to have a pop bright color. Moving on to the medium brown with gold. So medium brown color with these great gold highlights. Then we have medium brown with ginger highlights. Just a variation. Same brown base, different highlights. Okay. Moving down, we have medium red with ginger. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Fave. I it love this color. It sells out all the time. Yes. Very quickly, so just a warning. Okay, and so <laughs> we've got light brown at the top here. Nice, neutral, light brown. Then medium red brown is the shade that I wear, and you see how that warms up a little bit, okay? Dark brown. Perfect. It's a mm -hmm. perfect, believable, true dark brown. And then we move to, uh, this is another one that I love, black with burgundy highlights. A true black color with beautiful burgundy highlights. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom, that true black. Not a fake blue black, a believable true black. And that's the whole thing. These are called true to life fibers because it is so true to life. Here's some more of the shade charts so you can go ahead and take a look at those. It gives you one more look. In the meantime, we're going to come back because I want you to put the wig, help me with like putting up my hair and all that when we come back so you can see what happens when you don't have 
really, really long hair. You have a little shorter hair. How are you going to get the wig on? So you're doing kind of the same thing, pulling it right. back at the pulling ear. Pulling this back. But now you've okay. got these bang pieces in the front, okay. right, that you have to deal yeah. with. Take mm -hmm. a smaller little bobby pin. Okay. Pop them right out of the way. Okay. Move them out of the way and secure them down. Guess what? Look, I'm not even doing it neat. You don't there have you to go. get all fancy I'll about it. So now here, see. look, we've got all this short hair. So what you want to do, you can even choose to put this in a little bit of a band. But what I like to do to keep it flat is pull one section aside. Take a big bobby pin. Here we go. Struggling. No, I'm not struggling. Hold on. There we go. We got it. One side in like that. Flap the other side over as well. And then you're going to have those loose little pieces at the temple area. You can take a tiny bobby pin and secure them in. And guess what? Once you've got your wig on, nobody's going to see it anywhere. Nothing matters. None of this matters. Look right. at that. If you want to kind of just pop one more in over Ooh. here, you can. If not, don't, because it, it doesn't matter. Take okay. it, hold it, temple area, dive in like a swim cap. Yep. Okay, big stretch, big, 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 all the way big to the bottom, exactly. Now you've got all your hair okay. in there. Now, Find like the she said, you first of all, you've got to make sure you got right this at the awesome. temples. I love this. Right? And then just snap that into place. Then I, that's pretty much at my that's forehead. Your yeah, and okay. the ear tabs, you got them. Give it a shake. And the, these wigs yeah. are so smart. They're going to start to find their own oh, which style. Face? Yeah, you can kind of take a look at it. There you I don't go. have a mirror. Well, you know, so. it's hard to do without a mirror in front of you. I know. No but mirror. Look at that. This is just <laughs> gorgeous on you. Lots of volume. And this is, you know, oh just the different. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Nice. Beautiful lady. I this love this. So cute. And then you see all the, the layers and everything. And it's lots kicky. of movement. And you could actually, if I wanted to, sorry, I can't see which way I'm going. Which way are these going? This oh, this one. way. Yep. It, which is right. opposite of my own bag. Right. So that's why I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You can take this to your own beautician and have her, you know, maybe she, you want the bangs a little shorter or whatever. Go do it. Make it your own. But here's the key. For $109, you've got the beginnings of an awesome hairstyle, haircut. And you'll feel younger. You will look sexy. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, my gosh. If you do, what did she If you do? do take it to that hairstylist to show yeah. it to them, they're not going to believe it. They're going to say, this right. is a true-to-life fiber, and I can use a hot tool right. up to 350 degrees. Let me tell you, no company's doing that. These are great quality wigs. I see they them all. Are. People send them to, to me from everywhere. They move. So, Look at Stacy. Okay, I've got the light golden blonde. What are you calling? I've got oh. medium red blonde, red brown. Medium red brown. I almost turned brown. myself into a blonde what for a second. What do you have, honey? I'm dark brown. Dark brown. Look at Look that. Look at you. That's so. You could roll oh out of gosh, bed. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Roll out of bed. Do Look nothing to your hair. Not get your roots done. Not get your color done. Not have a good haircut. Whatever. Uh -huh. Pop one of these on and you're polished. You're good to go. Yeah. And you know what I call it? Five minutes to glamour because it is just that it's glamorous so when you decide you want to have a little different look you want to step out a little bit maybe it's an evening out and you think man the last time i got my hair cut she just cut it way too short or as you said christina maybe i haven't had my roots done and i'm like embarrassed about that i want to show you look at how adorable that is and there's really very little maintenance that you have to do. No, and if, you, and if you're wearing these wigs on a regular basis, lots of women are wearing them on a regular basis to complete yeah. their look, you can wash them. Right. You put them in a cold water bath with a cap full of your favorite shampoo, and guess what? You lay it flat to dry, it's gonna come back to this exact beautiful blown out shape. You don't have to take it to the stylist to redo it. Amazing. it these true to life fibers are smart. They will bounce back straight to this. Look how cute this is. What color are you wearing? Medium red with ginger. Medium red ginger. This is the color that sells out so often. I wanna turn you around for a moment because here is where the realism is. Most women who aren't used to wearing wigs are afraid to wear them because they feel like it doesn't look real. But when you look back here, if we can come in super close right yes. here, I want to show you something. When we talk about 7 to 11 different shades on each wig, look at the shading, the beauty of it, the deeper colors, the brighter colors, the highlights in here. That's what makes it look so real. And even at the part, there's really not much part in it nope. so it's not like you're going oh my goodness you know where wh is that a wig nobody's gonna even think twice on it let's quickly show the colors if you want to go in the blonde regions I'm wearing the the top one so light golden blonde medium golden blonde medium brown with gold 
medium brown with ginger, medium red with ginger. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the brown shades, we've got light brown, medium red brown, I'm in that shade, dark brown, black with burgundy, and black at the mm. bottom right over here. There and here's, are. you know, when we're gonna show you two other wigs too, but understand that when you're buying wigs especially, buy a color that's very much the same as your own hair and get used to it and that type of, type of thing so that you feel really comfortable. And I always say when you're buying a new wig, walk around the house, you know, wear it around for a few hours. You know, if you've never had one on, you really do need a little time to get used to it. My mother lived in